<coughs> okay. <coughs> what? Do, 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 do. I'm hungry. And we sound like Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For watching Basic Brie, me, duh, period, okay? You already read the title, so you already know what this video is going to be about. First things first. So I'm the realist. My nails, they're not done, so don't come for me, okay? I'm going to get them done to the model. So before we jump into this video, you already know the drill, you already know the deal, you already know how I feel. You feel me? Make sure you like comment and subscribe especially if you can relate to this yeah hope you enjoy and we are about to jump right into this video okay how to get over a breakup <sighs> breakups suck it's probably like the worst thing to go through um especially when you're young not the worst feeling ever but it is a worst it's like it's a bad feeling breakups they're just trash like and this isn't me saying that i have everything figured out because at this moment i'm currently going through a breakup um, i've been through two so far i kind of understand like what to do and how to do it now with the little experience that i had i don't know like the rule book of how to get over a breakup but i know that these worked for me and i know a lot of people talk about them as well so i was like why not share my experience on youtube you know help others too and yeah the first thing that you want to do when you have broken up with your significant other cut them off it ain't nothing to cut that me off no just kidding basically you need to cut ties take this break away from them don't be one of those people that's like oh well even though we broke up we can still be friends no you cannot be friends with them you have you have spent your life with this person you have become intimate with this person you have shared emotions that you have not shared with anybody else with this person and and now that you're over trying to be their friend is not going to help you move on you need to learn to let go and it's so hard trust me i understand that person broke up with you for a reason or you guys broke up with them for a reason or even if you decided to break up with them for a reason however it went down trying to be their friend after the process is not going to be the great thing because you guys will still be holding on to emotions and you won't allow yourself to heal properly you need to accept that it's over you take time take take your time away for this person whether it's a month whether it's six months whether it's six years like whatever time it takes you to get over this person just don't be their friend don't be his friend girl i know you love him and all don't be his friend the second way that you get over a breakup don't try to hide your emotions don't try to avoid them you need to feel them you need to cry let it all out don't hold it all in and you won't you won't grow from it trying to block out your emotions is going to hurt you internally emotionally mentally it's okay to cry i don't like when people like um try to pretend like oh they good or i don't care trying to stunt on social media like oh i'm single da, 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 i don't give a f blah, blah, blah. no you know you care you was just with this person 24 hours ago you telling me you don't care about them no more like Stop lying. Yo ass be lying. Okay, whatever. You was just kissing and hugging on him. I saw y'all pictures on social media. He went from bay to bye. That quick? Stop playing. Cry as much as you can. There are going to be times where you're going to be like, oh, I'm not crying anymore. But then it's going to hit you. Maybe later on you might cry again. And that's just, it's normal. We're human. We have emotions. We're entitled to our feelings, you know. It's, it's going to happen. It happened to me several occasions where I thought, I'm not crying about it. Why am I not crying over him? Then boom, three weeks later, I was in tears like, wow, I'm not with this person anymore. Like, like, I love them so much and I'm not with them anymore. It took so much. The third way to get over a breakup, listen to sad music. And I know that sounds like pretty crazy because it's like, why would I listen to sad songs and make myself more sad? But in reality, it actually helps. The music is kind of like therapeutic. When you listen to songs that you can relate to, just like how you're watching the video, you can relate to music can help too. So listen to like breakup songs, love songs. And yes, you're still going to cry. You, you are. <laughs> it's something that has to do with like men mentally, like it helps the mind or like when you're sad. You know how you're getting your fifis and you're just like, I'm gonna listen to Marvin's room. He'd be like, I said F that, mm -mm, 
that you like so bad. Man, run that back, Turbo. Run that back, period. Listening to sad music definitely helps, and I suggest that you do that because going through a hard time those three steps are you need to be alone like you need to feel these emotions but really like that that's taking your time to be with self and understand you and, and understand your emotions why you're feeling this way why did i break up with him accept it and try your best to move on as time goes on the fourth way to get over a breakup is to hang with friends now i know this sounds very contradicting to the first three steps that i just told you with being alone and blah 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 but eventually you can't just sit in the dumps all the time. You can't sit in your room and cry and watch sad, listen to sad music all the time. You can't um, watch sad movies all the time. That's just the first process. Okay. Leading on to the second, this is you getting out more. So you need to hang out with friends. You need to vent to them. You need to cry to them more. You need to have fun with them. They are there for a reason to make you feel better about yourself. Just be there for you in general. Like, we need friends. I hate those people that go on social media and are like, I don't need no friends. I just want money and blah, blah, blah. I don't I don't want nobody get by by myself. I got my back, blah, blah, blah. No, you need friends. Friends help you evolve as a person. If you don't have friends, you would never grow. They have to be genuine friends, of course. Like, don't be with no fake friends. Don't be around people who don't make you feel good about yourself and negativity and stuff. Be around people who are uplifting. They're going to help you get through whatever you're going through because that's what friends are for. Whether you're watching movies, going out, getting ice cream, whatever. They are there to do their job as the good friend that they are and have your back. The fifth way to get over a breakup, treat yourself treat yourself don't cheat yourself treat yourself don't cheat yourself it's been a long time you've been crying and stuff girl if you don't go ahead and go get your nails done your hair done everything did and that nails done hair done everything did are oh, you fancy go get your favorite meal yes go get your nails done yes go get your hair done yes go buy a new outfit go shopping with your friends or anything you wanted that new dress you saw last season well go buy that dress you saw last season because now it's on the clearance rack and you can afford it period you haven't been focused on yourself as much as you thought you were when you were in a relationship so it's good that you go out and you treat yourself after feeling all the sadness that you may feel thank you next bitch the sixth way to get over a breakup go do the things that you love when you're in a relationship you're thinking for two people you're not thinking for yourself right now and you don't have any time to be as selfish as you want to be because this other person is in your life. So now that you're not in a relationship with this person, you have time to do all the things that you wanted to do before that you never got a chance to do. Oh, I wanna go take that art class. Or oh, I wanna go to that dance studio. Oh, I wanna start my YouTube channel. You know, just stuff like that that'll make you happy that you always thought about doing. It, it helps you be in a positive light and also you keeping your mind like going and not just still stuck on the breakup because at some point you are gonna have to move on it's gonna have to happen you're gonna have to let it happen okay as you listen to me talk about these ways to get over you're probably thinking like oh I would never get over him blah blah blah, blah, blah. Uh, no eventually no you will get over him you will get over her him whoever you are watching this video you will at the moment it just really sucks because it's really taking a toll on your heart and your emotions and stuff because it's it's fresh when i was going through my first breakup it was so hard i had to cut it off because i just wasn't happy it just wasn't it just wasn't good nothing was going right one thing i did wrong was not learning how to be alone i was hanging out with you know guys like, i wasn't trying to be serious but I knew that that wasn't probably like the smart thing to do. It was just me feeling vulnerable and just not thinking right. It would be selfish of you to leave someone just to go be with somebody else and you did not have time to heal for yourself at all. So now you're carrying more weight, not, not, on your not only on your shoulders, but you're also putting weight on the next person you're with because you have all this baggage and these built up emotions that you're trying to avoid. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of strength to actually cope and be by yourself. A lot of people don't know how to be alone. If you're doing it, I'm proud of you. Like, keep going. You you got this. This is not the end of the world. One day they love you and the next they don't. And you're just like, why? Why? I thought we were forever. Blah, blah. You don't need that person. You, they're not needed. That person isn't the only thing that gives you happiness in your life.
The seventh way to get over a breakup is to be happy. Because it's like you want to be sad and stuff, but it's a choice. However long it takes you to get over a breakup, I'm not telling you that you have to get over it in like three months or so. It may take you a year. It may take you two years. You know, it just, that's all, it all depends on you and your emotions. I love you, bitch. Oh my God. I ain't gonna never stop loving you. <laughs> Bitch. But as times go on, you you will actually eventually you will, you will accept it and you will choose to be happy instead of choosing to be sad. If you choose to be sad after a breakup, like constantly, you will be sad. Like, and I saw this on this other girl's YouTube video, and that's true. You will be sad. You will be sad all the time because you're so focused on it and you're like, oh my god, I'm devastated. Like, girl, if you don't go and do something fun for yourself, don't be Debbie Downer they were temporary you have your whole life ahead of you and you never know god might just drop that right person right in front of you gonna be sitting there like brad who chad who tiffany who period when you reach that level of happiness you will learn to accept like okay i'm not with him no more okay he's dating other people and then eventually you will date other people and you will gain that confidence to allow people to come back into your life do not date people right after you break up the eighth way to get over a breakup boss up sis your life right you just went from crying and now your confidence is up to here and you ready to pop out you ready to show out you ready to look good you you glowing you flourishing like for some reason after women and it's probably go for men too but since i'm a woman i can relate to women okay so sorry guys after a unhealthy breakup after we didn't cry and just went through all that sadness and it takes us time it takes its toll or whatever we glow up for some reason. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's like, people be looking at you and they be like, huh, you are so pretty. Like, you're glowing. Like, I don't know if it's the vibe. I don't know if it's like the fresh, like, out of the unhealthy, toxic relationship look or whatever, but you do glow. Maybe you are happier and haven't even noticed that you, that you are happier out of that relationship. Go get that money, go out and, and just, just do your thing and have fun. Love yourself even more. It's your time to be selfish. You can focus on you, get to the bag, okay? Eventually, you will be that strong, independent woman or man, okay? And, and you won't even be worried about like what everybody else got going on. You worry about you, okay? You worry about you, period, all right? And that's all I got to say. I really hope that this video was very helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you can relate to it. And if you are going through a breakup, make sure you give this video a like, a comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. And y'all stay beautiful.